Uh... Well, that's... She doesn't look... Hey. What do you... What do you do in here? I'll tell you what I don't do, and that's answer questions from strangers off the street. Fine, I see how it is. Are you Danton's personal bodyguard? That's right. I make sure only the right people get to see her. And exactly who are the right people? People who don't ask a lot of questions. Keep on doing what you're doing. Mm. Those don't look too comfortable. Now is not. Hey. What do you keep on? Mm. Tough look. He's sound asleep. Nice to know things are relaxed enough around here that he can do that. I don't want to wake. That's far enough. He's studying. He looks busy. So, found Danton, did you? Yeah, interestingly. You could say that, but her heart's in the right place. So I take it you're involved with those people in there somehow. Maybe, maybe not. I'm just keeping my nose where it belongs. Sorry I couldn't just give you the secret knock, but it's not really in my place. I knew you'd get it on your own. Fair enough. Anyway, I'll let you get on with your business. Have a good one, Amy. Thanks. How's it going? Not so bad. See you later. Take care of... Are you all right, young? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. If you don't mind my saying, you don't look far. I'm fine, really. I was just... I was just out of breath. Lying to yourself isn't the answer. You should embrace... Oh, I should, should I? You've been mocked. It's obvious. The Reaper is coming for you. You should consider yourself lucky. It's only a matter of time before you pass on into the next world and liberate yourself from this misery. Look, creepy. I'm not spending what time I have left alive worshipping death, okay? Leave me alone. If that's what you want, then I will. But remember that accepting him will make your remaining life much easier. Should you change your mind, the Acolytes of the Reaper will welcome you at the Cathedral of St. Stephen. The one with a half a plane sticking out of it? That is the one! May death come to you swiftly, young lady. <sighs> I think I'm gonna need a few more lottery tickets after all. It's creepy how you can't see the face underneath the hood. Someone once told me that this is the patron saint of sudden death. How fitting. This statue has been heavily damaged. It's practical. Judging from the location, I would say that head belongs to the broken statue. I don't think Carrie... I don't think I can do... M she looks kinda happy? She's smiling anyway. Hi there. Welcome. What may I help you with? What are you all doing here? Worship. We worship the Reaper and wait for our times to come. When any of our members expire, it's cause for celebration. Are there many of you? Around 50 of us currently, but we always accept those who truly seek death into our flock. Can I go? That depends. Are you ready to die? No, of course not. I've got too much left to do before I go. Then maybe you should get on with it. Time is precious after- Hey! 
Hey, where do you think you're inside the cathedral? Not without getting clearance from me, you are. Who are you, miss? I'm Claire. Who are you? Amy. I'm guessing you're one of the acolytes of the Reaper? You guessed correctly. I'm here to make sure those who pass through that door are ready to die. That seems like a pretty lofty responsibility to give to one person. Not as much as you would think. Most people are worthy, they just don't know it yet. Can I go- That depends. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready to die. Hmm, you lack conviction. You still need to prepare yourself to be ready to die. You should come back when you're serious. I can't just go- I don't think she'd be- Beware the red-eyed ravens, they At leave least no the reapers near. He'll take away your loved ones and all whom you hold dear. The reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. They let him know when someone dies, the mortal souls he hurts. If you can't hear singing, Not sleepy, right? I sh There wasn't- It's not finished. When the reaper comes around, he'll take away your soul. Put you in his pocket and take you for a stroll. comes around, he'll take away your soul. Put you in his pocket and take you for a stroll. Beware the red-eyed ravens, they mean the reaper's near. He'll take away your loved ones and all- Hey guys, what's going on? Hi Amy. How about letting me have a turn? Sure. See, see, my playmate, come scavenge stuff with me, and we'll be jolly friends. Climb up the rotten tree, climb down this ladder into my secret room, and we'll be jolly friends till all goes boom. Miss Susie went to market, she heard the ringing bell. The guards came for Miss Susie and sent her off to Hello, Mr. Nero, please do you have the time? If you don't stop and tell me, I'll kick your big behind the broken window. There was a piece of glass, Tiberius sat on it and cut up his dumb. Ask me no more questions, tell me no more lies. Germanicus and Claudius forgot to do their flies are on the bodies. Ravens in the park, Miss Susie saw the reaper in the D.A.R.K. dark. Okay. I'll see you kid. Bye. At least now the plant can get some. I don't need to take any more fly. The reaper watches from the skies and no sends to ahead that. his birds. They let him know when someone dies, the mortal souls he hurts. I have business with Tiberius. Very good. Welcome back. I had a vision I'd be seeing. 
A chill wind blows from the east. I fear this is an ill omen. Ah, you return! Yes, and I delivered the letter to Danton. Excellent, you have made contact with them. Good work! So, do you have any more jobs for me? Yes, as promised. As I'm sure you've gathered, Danton is the head of a group of terrorists bent on destroying the government. I need you to be my spy. Spy? Are you sure I'm right for the job? Yes, I am. It is of the utmost importance that you assist me in this undertaking. Would you watch this new civilization we've struggled to build be undone by a group of upstarts? No, but they don't really seem like much of a threat, just a group of idealists. Yes, and the last time a group of idealists formed, they attempted to destroy the Ministry of Knowledge. Danton's group is an ever-growing threat, and they must be controlled and subdued as quickly as possible. Return to them. Tell them you wish to aid them. If they request you perform some task for them, do so to gain their trust. Of course, use your judgment wisely. If you break any laws, I can only offer you so much protection. When you know more of what they plan, come back and inform me. And as before, do not let them know you are there on my behalf. They would surely kill you on the spot. I... I don't know. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this. I realize this is a dangerous undertaking. If you succeed, I can offer you a government job. You'll be able to receive vaccine as you need it. If I can have a mechanics job, then we have a deal. I'm sure we can arrange some. I wish you luck in your... <laughs> of course I have a backup plan. Now behave yourself, and let us continue with arithmetic. I wish you luck on your task, young lady, and offer some advice. Beware false friends. How did you... Right, I guess that's your job. I have very welcome. A chill wind blew. Ah, yes. X. So yes, as I I need. I thought lottery jobs were more labor intensive. Haven't you got people in your government who do this sort of thing? Alas, I do not. Which is why I am in desperate need of a citizen such as yourself to help me. Would you watch this new civilization we've- No, they don't really- Yes. And the last- Danton return- Of course, use- When you know more of what they plan, come- And as before, do not let them know- I- I don't know. I realize this. If you succeed, I can offer you a government job. You'll be able- If I can have a mechanics job, then we have a deal. I'm sure we can arrange something. I wish you luck in your task. <laughs> of course I have a... I wish you... How did... Right. The stars are aligned in such a way that I feel good fortune will soon come to us all. Here's your weapon. Thanks.
Hey, Gordon. Hey, Amy. Have you got a nothing that if you Bye, Gordon. Goodbye. Amy, didn't expect to see you. Yeah, I remembered that I had something else to talk. Whatever you say. You again? I'd like to speak with Danton. Fine. Wait. So you're back. What is it now? I know who you are, and what your people are doing. I'd... I'd like to help. I'm flattered that you want to help us. But I feel we have some matters to resolve for. What matters are... Th Enough of these games. You're going to have to start telling me the truth if you want to get out of here a lot. What? I have been! Let's not be so dry- Don't play coy with me, Blondie. Do you think I'm- I had you followed when you left here. I know you went to the Ministry of- Now I'm only gonna ask you this once, and I want- Are you working for Tiberius? I am. I was told to spy on you and report everything I can. Well, you're either a terrible spy, or your loyalty to Tiberius is quite lacking. It's a lottery job. I'm just doing what I was told. A lottery job? Oh, I see. And what other choice have I got? It's not like I can walk up to the Ministry of Medicine and buy a dose. I'm so sorry. You don't deserve what's happening to you. This is why we have to act. They've been beating us down for so long, nobody remembers a time when they were prosperous and free. Struggling against the system may not be pretty, but it's the only way we can improve our lives. Danton, if she's got a connection to Tiberius, she could prove useful. You know, you're right. Having another double agent would be beneficial to us now that we've lost Milton. But I'm not gonna make you this offer for free. I'd hate for Tiberius to outbid me for your loyalty. Instead of hoping your lottery ticket gets chosen, how about you end up with as many actual doses of vaccine as you want? So you say you have vaccine. How do I know you're not lying just to get me to help you? To be completely honest, we don't have vaccine right now. But if all goes to plan, we will. I'll tell you more as soon as you help us out with something. Are you familiar with the junk vendor and butcher in the market? Gordon and Gus? Of course. They're good friends of mine. Then it may interest you to know that they work for me. I had no idea. They usually spare us some of their extra supplies, but they've been unable to keep up the last few months. I suspect they've fallen on hard times. See what's going on with them and help them if you can. Once you've finished, come back here, and we'll do what we can for you. Oh, and when you talk to them, use the code phrase, I've got the perfect life. That will let them know you're working for me. Now get to it. Don't come back here until you've finished. And remember, I expect your loyalty. If you set foot anywhere near the Ministry of Energy, I don't want to see you meet an unfortunate end. I'm sure you understand. How's it going? Not so bad. Interesting company you keep downstairs. So, you're working for them now, are you? It seems that way. We've been hard-pressed to find new recruits. You're a welcome sight. People are scared. Between the plague and rumors of the Reaper going around, nobody wants to get their hands too dirty if they could help it. Well, except for me. I guess it's easier to be consistently miserable than to take a tough road to happiness. You're starting to sound like Danton now. Be careful where you say that. See you later, Clem. Take care of yourself. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you look? You know, if you helped me today, I'd have the perfect life. You mean... Ah, I see. Be careful where you say that, Amy. Right, sorry. Anyway, what are you doing to help the other? A little extra scavenging for items they might find useful. But lately, I've been too distracted by the situation with my daughter. You'd think that for all the crap I collect, I'd have found something to at least try and make her a more effective mask. Only place I haven't had a chance to check out lately is the old Centrex factory. 
even though I'm not sure there'd be much of use in there. I just want her to be safe. Losing my wife was bad enough. I can't lose her, too. I know, Gordon. I know. I'll keep an eye out for what you need. You just try to relax. That would be awfully kind of you, Amy. Anytime. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Just couldn't stay awake. No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. How are you doing today, Gus? Cause I've got the perfect life. Shh, not so- Sorry, so how long have you been- About a year now. But why? Isn't it risky for you? Sure, but to be honest, I, I kind of like the excitement. It makes me feel like I'm part of something important. Plus, things need to change. Just look around you. We can't live like this. Kids can't grow up like this. Danton's gonna bring back the old days. Anyway, I was told you were having some trouble, so I wanted to help. I'm not sure what you can do, but swing by the farm if you want. Pop was asking about you the other day. If nothing else, talk with him a bit. He misses you. See you later, Gus. You bet. sick. Amy, is that you over there? Hey, Pop. Gus said you'd been asking after me. It's been ages since I last saw you. Come over here and let's have a look at you. Are you under the weather, Pop? I'm not, but I can't say the same about the sheep. Take a look around. Hell, just take a whiff. That's the stench of failure. Things are bad. Don't know if we'll be able to dig ourselves out of this hole. Why are all these ravens hanging around? Well, they're hungry too. Now that they got plenty of carrion, it's an open buffet for them. Little bastards have gotten bold too. Nothing I do seems to keep them away for long. At least having them around means nobody comes snooping around. They run off at first sight of them thanks to that kooky reaper cult. I didn't realize you knew so much about the Reaper cult. I don't, and I don't want to. They're just a bunch of freaks who think worshiping the Reaper is gonna make them die quicker. But I thought the Reaper was just a story. It is, but they think the Ravens are a sign that the Reaper is on his way to take them away from their woes. So naturally, any half-wit who believes that crap and sees a Raven gets scared and goes running in the other direction. Bunch of bullhickey, all of it. Anyway, it's best if you stay away from the Reaper cult. Don't want to put any ideas in your head. Don't worry. I met one of them earlier. I'm not going anywhere near them if I can avoid it. Did your sheep get sick? What happened? Ran out of feed, so half of them starved to death. It's not a pretty picture. I haven't been able to find anything else they'll eat. The farm's gone barren, and now the only thing I'm feeding is ravens. Truth is, if I can't come up with a way to keep the rest of the flock from dying, I'm done for. I'll keep an eye out for anything that might help. That'd be mighty kind of you. I think we're having the same kind of day. What's the matter? This morning I found a man underground. He'd been crushed underneath some rubble. And pulling that trigger was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I'm sorry, Amy, but it sounds like you did the right thing. Did I, though? I could have found someone to help. Why did he have to die? You listen to what the man wanted, it sounds like. In this hellhole, that's all we can ask for in our last moment. I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Like he said, even if you had gotten him out, you wouldn't have had much of a life left to live. It's not something anyone likes thinking about, but it's reality. I know. I mean, I see death almost every day, but... This was different somehow. Thanks, Pop. I think I needed to just get that off my chest. Anytime, Amy. I'm sorry you're having trouble, Pop, but I've got the perfect life. Is that a fact? Yeah. Did Gus not tell you? Tell me what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Whatever you say, Amy. I have to go now. Come back and visit whenever you like. 
I don't think a flower will cheer. These don't look like they've been used for quite some time. They look like they would fall apart as soon as I touch them. It doesn't seem to be doing a very good job of scaring away birds. Can't understand why. That gas mask on the face is pretty damn creepy. Poor thing. Uh... Home is on the outskirts to the east. Home. From out here, the city looks kind of whole, like the pictures in Nelson's books. Poor thing. Uh... Shoot! I wish these birds would stop st I don't see how... been like a second father to me. I remember when he was always smiling and joking, but lately he's just been looking really old. That old thing has been broken for years. I don't know why Pop doesn't just take it down. It is way beyond repair. Say, Pop? Would you mind if I took this gas mask? No, nah, it's fine. Not doing too great a job scaring the birds, so I doubt taking it off will make much of a difference. Hope you weren't planning on using it, though. The filter's no good. That's fine. I'm sure I'll find some use for it. It doesn't seem to be doing a very good... I shouldn't mess with it any... Gordon, I found this gas mask, but the filter is empty. Would it be of any use to you at all? Yes, this is good. If I could get a filter, this would be exactly what I need. Thank you, Amy. Here, I have something you might like to trade. What is it? An aristocrat guard ran through here earlier and dropped his flintlock pistol. It got a bit damaged, but I figured you might be interested in messing around with it for parts. Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks. And don't worry, I'll find a filter for you, I promise. I'm sure somebody around here has to know something about them. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nelson's probably the guy to see about that. He's got books on just about everything. The pistol is only slightly damaged. It hasn't got any bullets, but the flintlock mechanism still looks like it works. Should be useful if I need to light anything on fire. Anyone wishing to enter? It just says, Furnace. I guess it's meant to be some sort of warning? It just says, Furnace. I guess it's meant to be some sort of warning? Remember Blast Day. Support the aristocracy, and you will be supported. I doubt it'll come off the wall. It's been stuck there so long. Nice looking vehicle. Doesn't look like it would take too much to restore it. Just a couple of spark plugs, most likely. I haven't got time to do much scavenging right now. Maybe later. Hmm, what idiot would leave this wood lying around? It's in such... I don't need to take any more wood right now. Semtrex. I remember hearing a lot about them. They're the ones who used to manufacture all the uranium glass before the bombs. Centrex. I remember hearing a lot about them. They're the ones who used to manufacture all the uranium. I would have expected these things to be completely boarded up, or at least sealed. Huh, it's unlocked. Denby, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, living. That's what people do, I hear. Did you run away from home? I don't really want to talk about it. You can hang out here if you want, though. It's nice to have some company. 
These are nice. It's like you've turned this place into a private gallery. Yeah, I keep them around for inspiration. These are nice. Yeah. They're up too high. Besides, I think they liven the place up. Yeah, don't mess up my decoration. Must be some kind of dream. It doesn't smell very nice down there. That's not my fault, in case you were wondering. I wasn't, but thanks for the clarification. There's nothing down there that interests me. I'd be worried if there was. Pretty. Too bad the legs are broken. Yeah, I wonder how that happened. I don't want to risk damaging it any further. Yeah, probably best to just leave it where it is. That furnace could really be useful. This is a really great find. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Not much I can do with the outside of the furnace. It's best just... Nothing going on in there right now. Nothing in there but ash. <laughs> what? I said ash, Denby. Why are all these burnt papers on the floor? Oh, I always burn my bad drawings. But why would you do that? What's the point in keeping things around if they don't represent you? Not much I can do with the outside of the furnace. It's best... They're of no use to... Harsh. What are you doing? An experiment. Boring. Not when it involves burn. Oh. Well, yeah. That's cool. Then. Nothing happened. Well, yeah, the gas isn't on. This one doesn't look finished. No, it's still a work in progress. Is that supposed to be me? Yeah. You're the only woman I know who isn't old and wrinkly, so you're way easier to draw. You can have it when I've finished if you want. Hey, these are pretty good. Yeah, they're okay, I guess. My favorite's the one of the pilot. What are all these signatures? Like I said, I've been practicing copying handwriting. Those are just my practice sheets. Hey, try not to touch the drawings, okay? Sorry. I'm guessing this valve must control some cat assuming it still works. Yep, it does. Now we're cooking. What? You're actually gonna cook? No, it was a figure of sp Oh, thank goodness. I still have nightmares about that lamb stew sometimes. I'll make it again if you don't shut up. Copy that. Tossing that into the f Why not? You're carrying too much junk. Liberate yourself. Not much I can. It's best. That furnace. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't want to. Yeah, probably. Pretty. Yeah. I don't think. Why not? Why not? I'm not about to- I'll give you my- Fetch. I'm not about to go sticking my hand into a lit furnace. I'll give you my pumpkin if you do. Fat chance. Now that is a nice sight. Yeah, really makes this place feel homey. Denby looks right at home. Hey, Denby? Yeah? How long did you say you've been living here? Around two months. Not a bad place, really. There's plenty of room, and nobody comes by, so I've got all the privacy I could want. Well, nobody except you, anyway. I could leave you alone if you want. No, 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 uh, that's not what I meant. It's cool that you're here. It's nice to have someone to talk to. How did you manage to get in here? They didn't do a very good job of boarding up the doors. It was pretty easy to get in. I'm surprised nobody else tried before I did. I mean, there's like not much left in here, but glass is pretty valuable. I might trade it to Clem. Why did you run away? I said I didn't want to talk about it. Well, I do. Is it some problem with your family? Is there anything I can do to help? No, it's just, I 
felt like I was getting in the way. Mom and Dad have been having a hard time getting us all enough food, and my brother and sister are little, so there's not much they can do for themselves. I figured it would just be better for me to go off on my own. I mean, I still go back and see them and give them anything extra I've got, but I kind of like having my own space, you know? Yeah, I know. Look at you being responsible. Ugh, whatever. No need to be gushy about it. You know, I've got the... What the hell are you talking about, Amy? Have you gone crazy? No, I... Oh, just forget. I'll just leave you to whatever it is. Thanks. Hey, Denby? Yeah? I'll just leave you... Thanks. Take care of yourself. I'll try... I can't believe this. I'm back. If you were fair point. So did your ex don't be so no my cast iron bucket. It's been incredibly useful over the years. At least this will make I've got a I don't see how I... Time for me to... Okay. I'll take another. Just had to come... Uh. Oh, no. If I put wood on there like this, it'll just fall on the bottom when I light the furnace. Yeah, and then the burnt smell will linger. At least this will make carrying the wood around slightly. Not much I can do. It's best. I don't want to. Yeah, prop. I shouldn't leave. I shouldn't leave while the furnace. I don't want to. Yeah, probably. Pretty. Too yeah. There have no heart. Hey. Sorry. Hey, these are. Yeah. What are all. Like I said, I've been practicing. I can't just go around shooting. Don't get into any- I won't- 